Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about binders. Do you ever look at your cat and be like, are you real? Because sometimes she looks animatronic, truly. <laughs> So by the title of this video, you either know exactly what you're in for or you have no idea what's going on. So I'm queer, maybe you already knew that, but I'm sure a lot of you don't know that I also identify as non-binary. And what non-binary means is this, essentially I am not either masculine nor feminine and I lie somewhere um, outside of that binary. Um, so neither. <laughs> outside. Sometimes both. It's actually very much almost tailor to how you feel, then that's kind of why I like non-binaries because it gives you so much wiggle room on how to present and describe yourself, um, so that's just something to keep note of. For me personally, I really like the phrase uh, tomboy femme, I feel like that describes me a lot because I do like to put on a bit of makeup, which is traditionally feminine, but my clothing is kind of androgynous, masculine mostly just t-shirt and jeans, so <laughs> that's how I like to describe myself, and my pronouns are she, her, and they, them, so I use those interchangeably, will answer to either, um, all of that is good for me. So for me, non-binary means I don't ever feel like a man or a woman, I'm kind of, I don't know, just, like I said, somewhere sort of in between or outside, and my presentation actually varies quite a bit. The best way I can describe my gender presentation is like a coin flip, some days I feel heads, some days I feel tails, and some days I'm perpetually just flipping in the air. So one day I might look like this, and another day I might look like this. Um, but most days I just look like a cartoon character. <laughs> some people can feel um, gender dysphoria who are non-binary, for sure. And um, I, I mean, I definitely feel it some days. For me it's a little bit muddled because um, it kind of gets stuck into my like, just like general like fat phobia, like, like that kind of uh, like body dysmorphia kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so some, some people do, some people don't um, feel gender dysphoria, and then, you know, every person is different, as I said, but some people do want to um, augment parts of their body or, like, temporarily change parts of their body, and that is where binders come in. For people who have bigger breasts, um, some people want to kind of swoosh them down or flatten them a bit to have more of a flatter chest and binders are the way to do that um, without, like, surgery. For me, I have pretty large pretty large breasts, I'd say, I have no idea what size I am, but I'm probably at least a solid triple D, maybe E in one, because one is bigger and that's usually the case, don't feel weird if that's true for you too, um, and I'm pretty uncomfortable with them, I haven't always been, but I would say in the last three years, I've just kind of left them alone, I wear mostly really comfortable sports bras that just let them like chill and I don't ever like to really push them, like even now they're, my boobs, like my, the meat of my boobs is down here right now, um, because I don't wear supportive bras, um, because I would rather them appear kind of, even though they're still like out, kind of like flatter, um, rather than like up here, which is where most people wear their boobs. <laughs> I prefer mine to be a little bit lower um, because I'm not comfortable with them and honestly if I could, if I had the money, if I was in the situation, I would get um, a breast reduction to a C or a B cup maybe because I still want them. Um, I just find that they inhibit a lot of the things I want to do like with movement and um, it also just, I don't know, they don't make me feel nice. Um, so anyway, that's why I wanted to talk about binders, I wanted to try out a binder. Um, to see if it made me feel any better or different. So Shapeshifters is a company that makes binders and they sent me a binder to review. Um, what I really love about Shapeshifters is that they make every single binder by hand to tailor to your body. Um, and I think that's amazing, especially for fat people who have a hard time finding regular clothes in their size. You can get a handmade binder custom made for you and um, you also get one free like um, adjustment so if something is like doesn't fit correctly then you can send it back to them and then they will fix it for free and send it right back to you so it was awesome and if you want to try out shapeshifters for yourself they did give me a code for you to use for five dollars off any purchase and that code is mags mcg which i will put up on the screen in the description box below because it is almost my username but it's not quite my username <laughs> The ordering process for this is pretty simple. Um, you just take all of your measurements and you might want a friend for that um, just to make them the most accurate. Um, and then you fill that out, pick the color that you want of your fabric and then send that away. And Eli, the person at Shape Shapers is really good at kind of communicating with me because I'm right on the cusp of needing a like a flat insert on the front. 
um, and they emailed me and was like, help me decide if I wanted that or not. Um, and I actually got it, tried it on, and I wasn't as happy with how flat it was. Um, I don't know if it was too big or if it just like, I don't know, it just, it, I, felt, I didn't feel like it really changed how I looked that much. Like I didn't really feel like I was, I felt like I was wearing, again, like just a sports bra. Um, so I sent it back, asked for the flat insert to be put in and then an inch to be taken out of like the waist just to really give me that compression I wanted. Um, and it came back pretty quickly, I'd say probably within a week or two. So after these adjustments, I tried on my binder and I felt so good. It felt so much more smooth. Um, the stiff insert definitely helped just smooth kind of everything out. Um, that little like divot between like my breast and my belly kind of like smoothed and I was really feeling good in it so I wore it to a comedy show that I was going to see um, that had a bunch of queer um, comedians and I was like hell yeah this is the time we're doing it uh, so I put it on left the house and felt pretty good so it was really good for the first hour standing in line that was no problem felt comfortable reading a book hanging out um, but once I got into the venue and sat down, I started knowing, noticing like a little bit of back pain. I think because I was in such a cramped space, I couldn't move my arms very much. I couldn't really stretch. Um, so I was like sort of noticing some back pain. And then after like another hour of sitting there waiting for the show to start, I was like, nah, I think this needs to come off. So I went to the bathroom, took it off, put it in my backpack and felt a lot better. Um, and that was one of the first lessons I learned about binding is that you probably don't want to wear it out too a venue um, or some sort of event immediately. So my tips for getting a binder are one, get a custom made binder that is fit to your body. Um, I feel like that could make the world of difference. You don't want to be in something that's ill-fitting because that can cause uh, lasting damage to your body. Um, and two would be to ease into wearing a binder. Don't wear it for an eight hour shift at work where you can't take it off, you don't have anywhere to put it. If you do wanna wear it out um, when you're first wearing it, definitely have a backup plan to put it away, <laughs> to have somewhere to put it, uh, somewhere to take it off kind of secretly because you may not want everyone to know that you're wearing one. Um, and yeah, just, you know, I'm gonna leave a link below of like guidelines to wearing a binder because although, it, you know, it's, 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 it's not something that you can wear 24 seven. It, it can have lasting health effects and you want to make sure your body is as healthy as it can be. Um, in this regard you don't want to have any back problems you don't want any of your like your ribs to shift I don't know things wild things can happen when you wear garments that constrict you every single day as we know from corsets um, so yeah those are like the main two things I learned from binding so far so now I have a binder for days when I want to be a little flatter a little more androgynous um, and that makes me really happy because I have the option and I really like my binder because oh I didn't show it to you this is my binder <laughs> It's a dark green. It's sort of just like a, like, it's like a crop tank top, except it has a stiff insert in the front, and it's made of this, like, stretchy material that's sort of, like, meshy. Like, the outside feels like maybe bathing suit material, and the inside is meshy, I guess, so you can breathe. Um, but I, I'm so excited that I have the option to wear it now. Uh, while well, before I was like, I guess I could wear like a bunch of sports bras together, I guess. But now I have like an actual like thing I can put on to make me feel the way I want to feel on when I feel more masculine. Um, and I'm just so excited to have the option. And it's also, because it's, it's such a nice like color, I could wear it like visibly if I wanted to. Like I could wear it under this shirt and have it peek out a little bit and I don't think anyone would really bat an eye. Um, but you can get them in all kinds of ton, like all kinds of fun patterns. Um, and yeah, definitely go to Shapeshifters and check them out because they have a lot of variety and um, something for everyone. And you can use my code MAGSWITHG for $5 off. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment below. Um, if you have any questions about binders, if you have any questions about being non-binary, please leave them in the comments, but also be kind. Um, if there's something that you think may not be kind, Google is always available to answer your question, and I'm sure someone else has asked it before you, but please do not be rude um, in my comments because I probably will just delete them and then you'll never find out the answer to your question. Thank you again to Shapeshifters for sending me this binder. Um, I really appreciate when I can 
collaborate with other queer um, businesses and I think that's amazing. Um, again, you can use this code on the screen to get $5 off your order. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. My social media is on the screen. Um, remember to um, subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you always know when I make a new video. And thank you so much for your support. It means everything to me and I will see you next time. Bye!